we are <coughs> right there next to Gran Canaria we left a few hours ago and we're going to go all the way to Martinique in the last episode my dad was joining me in Gran Canarias together we would prepare the boat for the Atlantic crossing what was ahead of us? 2,700 nautical miles of water, and as it was my first crossing, I had no idea what to expect but what I read here and there or discussed around the beer with salty sailors. day of this passage and um, it's been freezing all night really really cold we really hope we get better weather in a week or so the wind is kind of stable uh, we don't see uh, we barely see Gran Canaria in the back anymore so it's been good I just ended my watch that is waking up so I'm going to go and sleep First day, first morning, second day. Today was pretty much like this, wind from the back. We have the Genoa with uh, the spinnaker pole and the main. It's a bit rolly, but not too bad. Hand steering sometimes and otherwise without a pilot. It's pretty cool. It's a good start of matter. The weather should be like this for the next few days. We're expecting in a depression in within a five or six days. So we'll see. But yeah, so far all good. So it's day three of the passage and it's a rather grey day. The sea is really disordinated, it's, uh, it's a bit annoying moving a lot, but um, I hope we get like more clear swell once we are a bit more out. Let's see. So the pressure is dropping down a little bit, so maybe we'll get more wind at some point. Let's see. Well, I got Atlantic that really bored just like us. Yeah, 
every day I'm trying to sort out a bit the, the fruits that are getting bad and uh, vegetables so I can cook them right now. The carrots are not, not that happy about their life and neither are the, the zucchini so that'll be the first one on the list for the next meal. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a daily job to make sure that we make the most out of the fresh food and try not to throw anything away or oh, the less we can at least. In order to provision for this passage, I did the following mass. The crossing is 2700 nautical miles, so at 5 knots average, that's 23 days at sea. Just to be sure, I had one week of provision, so 30 days. Every day, there is one breakfast and two meals, so that's 30 breakfasts and 60 meals times two people. I made a rough calculation of a ration of pasta, rice, etc. Let's take rice, for example. Let's say that over the 120 meals to plan, one third will have rice as a basis. A ration of rice for one is 80 grams. Time 40 meals, that's 2.4 kg of rice. But Jose's father was only selling rice per pack of 6 kg, so he ate a lot of rice. And I did the same for all the rest. Stuff for breakfast, canned food, vegetables, etc. Yesterday was winter, today is summer. We have like really light wind, only able to wear the spinnaker because otherwise the, the main sail is taking the wind off it. We're not moving really fast, but at least we're moving. There's still a lot of swell, so it can be uncomfortable, but so far it's nice. We have a stowaway from last night. Pressure is going up, so should have this at least for a little while. And now, let's see what happens. Okay, so the first day of real trade wind cruise is ending. We had a really nice day in the Spinnaker and now the sun is setting. Let's hope the condition will stay like this for the rest of the passage. We're doing a good like 5-6 knot average. Easy sailing with sun, so it's nice. Let's see. Also, I have Chronicle of Riddick with me. I, um, my wash was uh, uh, finishing an hour ago, I left a little bit more so I could like enjoy a bit of the sun because at night it was so so cold, I had like all my clothes on and still was freezing. Today, a bit more wind, a bit more sea, let's see how this evolves. Barometer is still high so it should, be, should, should stay like this, let's see, let's see how it goes, it's a nice day. Okay, so about organization on the boat, um, we're doing watch of six hours. So I have the watch from 2 p.m. till 8 p.m. and then 2 a.m. till uh, 8 a.m. And my dad does the other uh, two watch of six hours in between. And for food, I'm cooking because I really don't like uh, doing the dishes. And Chronicle of Rydick right there. <laughs> he's cleaning the dishes because he doesn't like cooking so that's pretty easy to organize 
and then not much else to do. I do the maneuver on the front deck and then we help each other back there uh, in the cockpit when we have to maneuver. But so far it's been two days, almost, yeah, two days and a half that we haven't touched the sail. It's just the head sail uh, there and just keeping the watch, trying to uh, steer at times to uh, relieve a bit the autopilot to keep focus on the navigation and that's it. Quelque chose à ajouter? Non, je suis à la vaisselle. We've been in the Twin Genoa all day. It's better to take them down at night. I mean, the one with the spinnaker pole, and uh, we we'll put them up tomorrow morning if the weather is uh, appropriate. So yeah, let's do this. T'es prêt? Ouais, vas-y, tu peux choquer. So the night is really calm, this is my watch and we have some manual activity to do um, to repair this uh, sail. It's the old Genoa I'm using um, as a twin Genoa and it has some holes in it because it's a really old sail. I'm only using it for it so it's not big trouble but uh, yeah, some sewing to do. Need to add some tissue there, some fabric. So yeah, fun. Small storms have been passing on us, no major increase of wind, but the wind is changing like direction and rain. So that is trying to steer at the moment without much success. Pas facile, hein? Fabrication d'un tango en mer. Bravo. Alors on pourra améliorer un peu le système, mais non. On ne perd pas trop d'espace. Alright, first week at sea. Completed. We did 700 something, 780 miles over the last seven days. So it's good. Still a long way to go. So we're celebrating with a beer. I mean, he's been celebrating every day, but I, I had a bit too much beer at Carnival, so for me it was the first week without any, any alcohol, but yeah, first one. With a nice sunset.
Okay, so it's day eight and it's been like really, really light wind all night, sails flapping, and this guy here has been snoring to death all night, so yeah, not the best night ever. But um, anyway, clouds are coming, so even less wind, but also uh, rain, so it's gonna be shower day. After one week, I think it's due time to have a proper shower. So first in, in the ocean and then rinse where with or maybe rain or we have a shower here at the back which is just like fresh water and a nice shower it's going to be to be good. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, there is harmony but there is an order in the nation. When there is order in the nation. <laughs> La deuxième fois ça fait moins non La deuxième fois c'est moins froid After a week at sea, and more than a quarter of the ground covered, our passage was going good. But more adventures, weather surprises, and unexpected visits were to be expected. Stay tuned for the next episode, and see the rest of this crossing.